We discovered this plane in the Gulf of Manfredonia, in the South Adriatic. This plane most probably had a mechanical failure and uh, ditched uh, in the water. Uh, it was not uh, hit hard by anti-aircraft guns because it was anyway very far away um, from the coast. We are talking about four miles, more or less. The plane is uh, in uh, pretty good conditions. Uh, imagine a very big model put down in the water. The wreck, uh, it's 75-80% um, complete and only the right part of the plane is um, destroyed, it is missing. It was surely destroyed in 80 years by fishing tags. In fact, we have found some fish nets around the, um, the wreck. Uh, it doesn't happen uh, so often that when we go underwater and uh, uh, after 80 years uh, we are able to find a so well preserved fighter. When we went on the, on the plane, on the wreck, uh, we, were, we were very, very surprised. And uh, there was an exchange of uh, view between us saying, guys, we have found a very, very, very big treasure. And, uh, the windows are open, so uh, we are pretty sure 100% that uh, he uh, managed to ditch the plane and then uh, who knows what happened. But uh, maybe he tried swimming uh, or uh, due to his uniform uh, he went down. Because uh, I didn't find um, any objects uh, or um, remnants of his body. So uh, we are pretty sure that uh, he drawn. Uh, we know for sure that in this area uh, we have only one uh, heavy fighter uh, uh, in this place. And uh, if we uh, consider that in the missing air crew reports we got especially uh, written uh, coast near Manfredonia, it means that we have uh, another confirm that we are talking about the single airplane. His family was very, very happy and proud to finally have uh, some further information about their ancestors. Finally, they know the fate of uh, their ancestor and uh, finally this pilot, the Lieutenant Singer, now uh, uh, can be re remembered well because now uh, there is a, a place where to go praying for uh, this pilot.